Okay, this is the the real chess journey. The real slow jog, not a speed run, a slow jog. Okay, simple is a simple does. Let's push the pawn up in the center and bring the knight through. Got to be careful of narration mode because that might be stopping me from getting the ideal position that I need. So take that moment to calculate. We do like this because it seems to work. There's no big issues with that movement as far as we can tell anyway. So as the title dictates, really, it's around how or why or what is the reason for us being forced into going lower, deeper into the lower area of the rating ladder. It's a reversal, yeah, a reverse psychology. So the knight could be attacked by the pawn. This pawn has got no protection on. Do we get arty or do we just take the pawn off the board and then they take? I think what we're going to do is to go real dirt simple and just support the pawn with the knight. Not get carried away with anything. Okay, so the bishop's attacking the knight, wants to get rid of this pawn. So is there an in-between situation? Not really, because if we do take, I mean, he still can take the pawn because this can't take. Bishop could come out to support, but they do have a two-on-one with their knight. And if we bring the bishop here, then again, they still have this two-on-one with this pawn. So I think what we are going to do is take, and then we're going to have to bring the bishop here because the knight is going to probably take this pawn. So let's take. Then we're going to have to bring the bishop here because this knight can't move. So that at least we've got two pieces supporting the attack. We've actually done it, so the knight's still going to take there. So we'll take here. So they're looking for disruption on our pawns. But we're happy and comfortable with having open files for the rooks. So we can bring this knight bishop here, but this knight is attacking this pawn. Do we want to get rid of the bishop? I mean, I'm not, I'm not adverse to getting rid of the bishop. Could go and attack the knight. Gives them something to think about. Pawn, I suppose, comes, but then we can take. This pawn will come and support, but he opens up space around his king. I'm going to bring the queen up. Not sure that it can be attacked at the minute, so really the queen supporting the pawn is not really what it's designed for, but I'm actually attacking a piece. Like I say, if he does come here, we do have the on pass on type thing. Knight can go back to where it came from. No, he's done a reversal, he's attacking our queen. So what does our queen have? Has this space here? It's not really a mammoth attack, is it? The knight doesn't have any protection on. So it could squeeze here attacking it again, but it's overworking the queen. But that position there allows this. I don't think it's going to work, but it's something, isn't it? But if we did go there, then his knight can take the pawn and is protecting that area. So let's think longer term. This. Then this. Gives them something to think about. Yeah, but we're not going to be fast enough, are we really? Because he's just going to drop the pawn. We go, go here. He drops the pawn. Or here, whichever. So the queen has to move. Queen attacks there, queen. Queen takes. Bring the bishop out. Okay, might cause some sort of disturbance. Let's go with that. Let's go with that plan of this, but obviously we know this. All, it's all basic stuff, really. Yeah, so it does drop. So we're going to attack the queen, like we said. Don't really need to deliberate over that, I don't think. 
could chop the pawn, pawn takes. Queen does take, bishop takes, or the knight takes. Now we're changing our mind. Doesn't look like we're changing our mind. Let's bring the bishop up. Pawns are blocking off the knights at the minute. Simple pawn maneuver. Okay, could come and attack this knight now. Knight goes around and attacks the pawn. Let's just bring the bishop here, attacking unprotected knight. Don't need to move so fast, but these look like obvious positions. But sometimes the obvious positions cause me some problems. So, okay, the knight's gone back. This pawn doesn't have any protection on. We could queenside castle to attack this pawn. So does the knight then have to go back and defend the pawn? I think I prefer that because it's more proactive. So the rooks attack in. Knight goes back to defend. What do we do from there? Maybe the bishop? No, the knight's there. Get this bishop out somehow. We're going to check on the king, but he just drops the pawn. Okay, we've got them thinking defensive. Knight could just attack his knight, and then the bishop is going to be stuck here in the middle, acting like a pawn. Eek, not sure about that. But it might be a little bit too flexible. White square bishop out, drops the pawn. No. White square bishop here. No, it's blocking all the activity. I think we should attack this knight. What would, yeah, I, I don't really see a problem with it. It looks a bit sketchy because the bishop's just stuck in the middle. But the bishop doesn't have to be. I could take with the pawn, I suppose. But it's kind of blocking the bishop. <sighs> Is it a better bishop being in the middle like this? And then it does this and then it hits the bishop. I don't think that works, does it? Let's take with the pawn. Link up the pawn in the centre so it's not isolated. And make this bishop work some other way. King needs some company. A little bit airy around here. So this is the end game now. So we need to be fashioning some sort of positivity. Attacking the rook. Let's hit the bishop with a smaller piece. All right, so they're flying a bit, looking to protect this, but this pawn could have protected. And we don't want to do this because he's just going to do the same as what we did. Let's get the bishop out. Maybe managing squares. Or put the check on the king. Pawn drops, bring the bishop down. And then it's protecting the king, but then it does have these pawns that will dishevel it. So I don't think that's a good move. Let's just bring the bishop here. And we could just sight the king here. It's got a white square bishop and then maybe get some activity. Ooh. That square bishop needs to get into the game. Like we said. So let's get the bishop into action rather than stuck behind the pawn here. Now that they've castled on the queen side. Attacking the pawn, again the pawn could defend, but I think I'm going to go with the bishop on this occasion. Get the king sighted here, I think, and that's going to be better. Not that there's anything major happening at the minute, the head of the snake is always going to be attacked. Crack, I'm only on four minutes. I'm sure I've not taken that much time. All right, so he's looking to push down with the pawns here and basically saying you've got nothing on this side. I'm going to move the king. So it doesn't need to be there now. We do have a half open file. I'm going to just keep making it look like I've got something here towards the king. Like what he's pretending to do with his pawns here. Let's just attack the knight, make it look proactive. Let's take the knight off the board. Don't really want to be dancing now. All right, so let's see. Get the rook here. Looking to try and so they'll just drop the pawn. And let's push this pawn. 
maybe get the king across or something or come here so that bishop can come and attack but the white square bishop let's push here so the rook's coming down for the pawn but it'll get taken so i don't think we need to worry too much about that area let's just bring the rook across now rook comes and defends or the pawn pushes whichever and that square bishop i think needs to be doing Shall we push this pawn? Let's push this pawn up. The bishop at the minute is a little bit jammed in. And rook can come here. Do, 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 do. Don't really want to move the king onto a dark square. Let's move the king here. Onto a white square, sorry. It's bishop. How am I on three minutes and there? Crikey, they're moving a lot faster than me than I Dark square bishop. It's looking to come here, but the pawn's there, isn't it? Oh, he's attacking me. He's attacking me. Put a check on his king. Just to make let them know that we're in the game. And... What's the plan? What's the pl Oh, that's the plan. But I'm not going to get it off, am I? If I come here, then this bishop can take the pawn. Because we've got the x-ray through with the rook. It's coming for the pawn here. So we'll take... Oh, he's on both our rooks, though. He'll be on both our rooks. So if I move this rook up... Very clever. These players are so strong on this site, it's unreal. Nobody believes... I don't, I'm sure people don't believe me how strong they are. Let's look at the tail of the tape. I was 1885, so I have skills to get up to 1885. And we're doing this little exercise here to see, you know, what forces me to get lower? What is forcing me to not achieve, in a sense? This site is so strong. Nobody, I don't believe. So we can take this pawn because obviously, like we mentioned, so we're looking for a bit of disruption in front of our king here. Okay, so they're still going for it. Which side? This side is the left side. Let's keep this one blocked. Maybe bring the bishop here, looking for a discovery. It's coming for the pawn. Hmm. Too good for me. It's coming for the pawn. So if we pushed on to... No. Uh, I don't want to block my bishop, though, do I? I want the bishop to come back. Ooh. Oh, just push the pawn, defending the pawn. If he doesn't see it, sometimes forward pawn pushes. They don't actually see that it's a piece defending a piece that they're going to attack. But obviously they are seeing that. Oh, they haven't. Let's grab this pawn. But maybe they're thinking it don't matter. Somehow they're going to come through and squish my king or something. Nope. Bishop's trapped. Not yet. Well, that was a bit of a bit of a miracle. But we're in a bit of a shabby position, really. I don't really feel too Oh, hurt me. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Oh, it's all falling apart. The snowball is just Yes, very nice. Very nice indeed. On the strongest site in the world so yeah this was the first game of the little series well it's not a little series this is going to be an ongoing series of how i am forced to lose on the strongest site in the world we'll continue playing these games we've done all the evaluation of the games that we played in the carnage session so yep nothing wrong with the answer process that we've created for ourselves the concepts are working fine it's just how we deliver it on the day, but then it's also competing with very strong players on here. But for now, this series is going to be a very lengthy series, it could last a year, two years, whichever. Uh, just looking at how it is that we lose on this strongest site in the world. Keep on evaluating. Keep on assessing the evaluation and then taking action on the evaluation and the calculations that we've created. 
Oh, no, no, I've messed it up. <laughs> that's, even that's even worse. Oh, that's terrible. That's a bad one. That's a bad one. Oh, silly me. Oh. Let's take a quick look at this one just to see what realistically could have been done a little bit better just from this point here yeah so the opponent pushed down we went across and then we grabbed so at this point really now the focal point i think should be on these pawns so bringing the king back i don't think would have caused us much problems and if the king wanted to come across and block the pawn, then it could do. Then we could hit the king, then he comes and blocks. Then we can just come across here, they take and go come across and then basically we're grabbing these pawns. Yeah, so if they were thinking of trying to get escape routes, we can come here. If they wanted to attack, that's where basically we would just take the pawns off the board. And that's a winning position. So pretty straightforward. And other options, so say we bring the king down and then they decide to drop here. It's not the same sort of situation that we were in. So we could push the pawn if they carried on pushing. So if they pushed here, yeah. So it's not the same position at all that we ended up in. So we could push the pawn. The king then comes across to attack. We can push it a bit further, it goes away. Then we come across. If he pushes the pawn, the pawn gets taken. Pretty simple. And then the king can cobble up the pawns and we've got the advantage. That's the simplicity of the evaluation of that particular game. Easily seeing it after the game. We're attempting to see it during the game. Okay, how low am I forced to go on this site? The opponents are that strong. I mean, look how fast this person's playing. They're just blitzing out the moves. Let's take a moment. Surely we must be able to get some sort of advantage from this kind of play. Take the pawn. Unlike in the last game where basically <laughs> that's just terrible. So that's my mistake. I'll hold my hand up when I'm making a mistake. It's um too much narration mode. And the opponent was playing so quickly, I'm thinking, this must be just a draw. And let's have a look. What do we want to do? Get the bishop out. I'm going to bring the bishop out. Let's focus a little bit now. Not too much of the chit-chat. This place slowed down. They started off dead quick. Gonna take, it's gonna push this pawn x ray through to the king. Oh, shh, never mind, it's okay. That's me, narration mode. I said no narration mode, didn't I? Have a look at what the opponent is doing first. So, this is why I'm, I mess up in these games. You're seeing it right here. You know, I'm just fl flicking stuff out and not doing proper calculations. So, I'm gonna pay the price for that. But it's different when you're playing over the ball because I don't move this quick. And I'm not talking. So I don't know why they're delaying there, but uh, let's go with that. They have to go on castle or else a little bit of a ting ting. Or maybe they don't have to go on castle. If we go here like this, this pawn drops, so we're not interested in that. So we kind of lost the bishop. Or a knight. Terrible position. Terrible position. Oh dear. There, pawn just laughs in my face. Take the pawn with a check. It's not going to make much difference. Because then that pawn takes. And this knight is held to, held to ransom. Queen comes and puts a check on the king. Okay, that's what we're going to have to do. 
we have to try and claw something back. Let's just go here. Not We're not going to claw a piece back, obviously. Because he's still going to have the x-ray through no matter what. Let's put a check on the king. It'd be lovely if they went there, but they're not going to go there, are they? Knight attacking the queen. Queen comes to attack. Then we've got a little bit of a checkmate thing going on. Let's attack the queen. It's going to come here, stopping all the fun. Stopping my fun. Oh, he hasn't. Oh, it's not checkmate, is it? He's got, he's got there. Damn. Uh, uh, uh. What could it do? Could do something. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? That's nice. Come in here. But then his queen's just going to come here. But then can we go here? I don't know. Something. Something's happening that's stopping our knight from being taken. Queen comes here. Check. Queen goes there, defending. Check. Queen goes, where did I say it was going? Oh, the knight's blocking. Oh, don't tell me I've lost the advantage now. Oh, come on. Oh, let's move the knight. Is my queen under attack? Oh, man, I didn't see that, did I? Here to here. Here to here. Still get it? Oh, no, 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 because his rook's going to take our queen. So we go there, rook takes the queen, knight takes the queen. Rook moves out of the way. Oh, sad times, sad times. Gonna have to go for the exchange, aren't I? Let's just see if he trades. Let's take. Nice pawn. Oh, you gotta be having a laugh, aren't you? Oh, I hate chess. Damn, 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 damn. Can't even go there tonight, it's just going to take. Oh, shabby times. Oh. oh, I feel sick. Oh, man, I was going to always be losing the night, wasn't I? Right from the start. Oh, for shine on. I'm plus two. But that doesn't mean anything. Knight attacks the rook, maybe he forgets that this knight can take. Mm, no. Take a pawn. Okay, take a pawn. Let's castle. Yep. Yeah. Let's castle. Attacking the pawn. So it's even Stevens. So, um, we've got a few more pawns. And the knight attacking the pawn. We're going to get time at all. Oh, oh, a little bit too good for me. Let's go here. Knight attacking the bishop. Let's bring the knight around. It's going to still want to stay protecting the pawn. Let's get the rook up. Let's hit the pawn. What's the minutes? Five minutes, they're on seven. Well, they've been moving very quickly, haven't they? Oh, uh, no, no exchanges. Just let me have something for crying out loud. Uh, 
Oh man, let's bring the rook here. Still want to be on the pawn, potentially attacking the bishop. What other magic have they got now? Ugh. Oh. How low can I be forced to go? In the subliminal target, it's like 1200. So that's how low I think I can be forced to go. That's the, the target that this machine, that this site has got subliminally set for me. Get back down to 1200. If we surpass that by the end of the year, then we're, we're on to something. Oh, come on, what is this? It's going to take... What's the Bishop's just escaping, isn't it? Let's just move this pawn. That's not happening. Let's just take this. So is he looking to do something like... Nope. Maybe we stay on this file. It's nice, it's got places. It's got places to be. Damn. Let's attack the bishop. It's got places to be. Let's move the king. It's attacking a pawn. Interesting. So to hit the knight. Let's come in. Let's get cozy. Can't get the bishop. Can't move this pawn. Rook's going to be putting checks on. Let's move the rook here. So, shall we push a pawn? Mm, let's push a pawn. King's getting a bit activated. Let's put a check on. Any forks? Not yet. <laughs> Three minutes. Zero increment, got to remember. So what is he doing now? Okay, let's push. Eh? Have a fall. Oh, for crap. God, Bennett, can you believe it? Wrong pawn. Oops. Who's got is it? Preemptive stuff. I need to not do that at this stage of the damn game, dude. Crikey. Come on. Another end game thing, but <laughs> I mean, that one was just terrible. Just getting a. 
losing the advantage on the end game. Yeah, I don't think we really should have got any benefits in that game whatsoever. Absolutely shabby position of the night. That was this game. Look at that. That's terrible. Absolutely terrible. But it goes to show that you just keep fighting on. We, we do mention that quite a lot. Just because you're down a minor piece doesn't mean you've actually won the game. And I think this end bit here with the rook and stuff like that, again... Looks like you've messed up, but you have a lot of material on the board to still play with. So it's just having that patience a little bit. <laughs> you're never, you're never going to get it 100% proof, but you've got to have a belief in something. So how low can I be forced to go? Okay, another game for how low am I forced to go? Got my food coming soon, so I might have to jump off. So let's get started anyway. Let's develop the night. They're moving quick, all right. So let's grab. Knight attacking the queen. We don't have any problems with that position. And they're moving so quick. I do like to bait the pawn down, but I'm just going to push here. Open up the dark square bishop. They're moving real quick. Hmm. Shall we just pace it nice and steady? Just make space for castling. So quick. They must be making a mistake at some stage. So we'll castle. It's going for the Fianchetto through. Shall we attack their knight? Could take the knight off the board. I'm not precious about having the two bishops. Let's take. Need to be seeing what mistake they're making because they're moving so fast. Night too early for the night. Get the queen off the back. Go for an exchange, but the bishop will just attack. So also the bishop can attack the queen if it goes there. Let's bring the queen off the back. Just feel a bit jammed in the bishop here. Yeah, they're just not putting any attack there, knight. Probably looking for a two on one. And the bishop's fianchetto is going to be through, so we're going to have to block here. Let's take the knight. Gone with the queen. Okay, let's just support the pawn. They're moving that quick that it's like um, something else is actually moving for them. We do have this to here. All of the all of the moves have been that rapid, apart from this move. Yeah. <laughs> so the opposite our queen. There's a two on one we could put, but the queen's probably just going to take. So we'll go for that. Now they've slowed down. They've slowed down since we did that night move. Hmm. Queen's going, but it's not protecting this pawn, which is a good thing, I suppose. But are we falling into something knight comes attacking the rook and the so the bishop's going to have to take it's 
So I'm hoping this is the moment they've made a mistake. We've just got one pawn up, but that doesn't mean a damn thing in the game of chess. You've got to have the appropriate position. Oh, going to take the rook. Oh, no, I can't take the rook because of the x-ray through with the bishop. Oh, would you Adam and Eve it? Let's take this pawn and support, but then this is going to hit. Oh, oh food. <sighs> All right, we're back. So, um, spring this bishop here. Now we've got an next ray through to his queen. I don't think this is working. For... Queen is supported, so in a sense. So he's going to have to move the rook, but we're still not going to take the rook because we've got an next ray through. Oh no, it's going to hurt. Let's attack. So the queen moves to somewhere. So plus two out of that, so it's just the pawns, eh? One, two, three, four, yep. Right, so that was the mistake that we were looking for because they were moving that fast, but I'm not really happy with my position. Go here, pawn comes down, have to bring the bishop back. If we go here, let's just bring the bishop here. Not happy with it at all, really. Nothing feels like it's supported. Mm-mm. Right, it's attacking the pawn, so we could just jam our bishop in, or just bring the bishop here, but then he's going to be pushing this pawn down. Or I'll just bring my queen here, supporting the pawn. Just bring the rook. It's got a dark square bishop, hasn't it? Let's bring the rook, supporting, try and keep it simple now. But not so simple that I get clobbered with some sort of oh magical positioning. I was looking for this pawn here, wasn't it? So the queen's doing all the work at the moment. Maybe they don't know how to work the pieces together. I'm fingers crossed. This is a horrible position, man. It's not that nice. I could look to see if we can get an exchange basics. Just bring the rook into the game. Looking to get see, looking to get my bishop off. Obviously, it's got no support. Is there any way of getting their queen off? It's gone onto a dark square, nice and safe. Should we start pushing these pawns up? Mm, that's not going to work, is it? Come back around here. Maybe start doing something with these. I don't know what though, because it's got every piece on the mazanti. Queen's coming back around again, looking for something. Maybe this pawn. Maybe here. It's not really getting in, am I? Probably going to lose on time because I'm not really getting in. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, if the pawn attacks, take with a check on the king, get the queen off the board. It can happen. I think they're going to flag me. I'm not happy with this position. Alright boy, that was a scary knock on the door, wasn't it? So the Queen's doing a lot of dancing, we must be able to get this off the board, man. Come on, how, how, how? Doubling, no, he's targeting here, what's he doing? Bishop taking, pawn takes, then the bishop's got nothing. This is not very clear, I'm going to lose on time. So it's stopping us from pushing this stuff. Quick, quick, quick. Come on, come on. Zero increment. 
what would you see if you were in the evaluation right here, right now? What is the move? Let's push the pawn, because that's the one that can hit the queen. And then see if we can get this up to try and disturb the king, Gary. Queen's in, it's attacking the pawn again. Let's hit the queen. Let's hit the queen again maybe. This pawn's gonna have two on it though. Hit the queen again. Moves up. They've got three pieces on there. Hit the queen again. Drops back down. It must be something like that, because this is the advantage we've got these pawns. So surely it's just pushing this this pawn up. But does it get any support? It'll probably just get taken off the board with these. And this one's just going to be by itself eventually. Mm. It's tempting me. It's tempting me. Right, we need to move quick. Let's hit the queen. Small piece attacking a higher piece. Got to be a bit of disturbance. Maybe the rook comes down to attack our queen, but our queen is protected, which is okay. I think he's probably looking to just sit here, really. Don't think he'll go back. So what do we do then? Do we push onto this pawn? No, we're losing pawns. Oh, what's this? Didn't, that didn't come into... Can't attack that. Keep pushing the pawn. Push, push. But he's got the 2 1 there, hasn't he? So we'll probably need to protect. Something like that, maybe. This is not. I don't like this position. What is he doing? Oh, that's going to hurt, isn't it? That's going to hurt. Let's just support the pawn. It's going to double whammy me all over the place. So if we go and take, he's, I don't think he's trading. Where's he going? Although he does win this pawn because the bishop can take and then he's going to get that pawn. Ooh, ooh, okay. We're only plus one now. Did he grab a pawn during that queen movement? Oh, he must have done. He must have done. So the bishop's going to go on a frenzy now. Yeah. So we have an x-ray through, so this pawn's going to have to probably come and protect. Oh, stealth bishop. Speed looks like it's worked against them. We're on bullet time. Excellent. Come on now. We can still make mistakes here. Just because you're a minor piece up, that means nothing. As we've proven time and time again. Let's defend. Attack. Attack. Let's capture. Attack. What was that? Attack. Let's attack again. Let's 
Let's push defending. This is going to hit. I'm on 50 seconds. Damn. No increment. Take. Let's attack. Well, check. 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 Let's defend. King's coming here. Let's defend. Thirty nine seconds, man. This is not good. Not good. I said he was going to flag me, didn't I? Put a check on. Check on. Move the cape rook. Going for a draw. Interesting. Let's move the king. Oh, that's going to hurt. Damn. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, end game craziness. Oh, man. It's going to take me longer than 10 seconds to get a mate with a rook. Whoa, what's that? Oh. Uh. Well played. Damn, got a draw out of it. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, man. Oh my days, way too slow. Anyway, happy with the actual gaming. That's no problem. Okay, um, speed let me down in that last game. A little bit too blase. I was actually thinking, um, even if my time ran out, it was going to be a draw because, you know, they didn't have anything, but it didn't work out that way. It's strange how my brain thinks. All right, so we're, we're still on the how low am I forced to go situation. And we're looking at the games and we're looking at the strength of the players and looking at the weaknesses of our play in the certain games, narration mode problems, uh, movement problems, psychological thinking problems, pace, um, concentration, all of those things come into play. Let's bring the queen here. Let's attack the queen. Okay, so they're looking a bit lively. Let's see if we get a cheapie. No cheapies today. Could get another cheap type thing, but I don't think that's going to wash, is it? Oh, you know, they're going to go for cleverness, are they? Bishop taking the pawn. And then they're going to get our bishop. So I'm actually just going to bring the bishop back here. I can't be doing with any of that fancy business. Where's castle? 
So we're kind of showing that we do get these decent positions. There's nothing really wrong with the sort of gameplay. It is like those situations where we go, uh, we're talking too much, not really putting the full concentration in, or we just kind of get, what's the word now, hypnotized in the game, especially when it comes down to like losing on time, that type of thing, still trying to find those better positions. And to me, there's nothing wrong with that because that does enhance my um, over-the-board play. But as you know, you can't talk in an over-the-board game. Obviously, if you're playing a coffee house thing, you can do. Uh, so they're attacking the queen. Could move the queen out of the way. Can come here. Let's just move the queen. Gives us a cheapy position, if anything. Okay, right. Let's get concentrating again. So we're attacking a few pieces at the moment. Bishop, knight. Sorry, bishop, bishop. So I think it is a load better if you're playing a game and you, you know that you're you're in a good position, you haven't done anything too bad, um, but you either lose on time because of that concentration thing, or maybe even if you've made a blob and you know you've made a blob in the game. Um, so those sort of games there, you can kind, you can kind of wear. Uh, the ones where the opponents are out, totally outclassing you, those are the ones where you have to go, ooh, ouch, that don't look too nice. And So the rooks come in looking to double up. Okay, just take this bishop off the board. Let's hit this bishop. So we don't have this anymore. Because we've just taken with the bishop. Hoping the queen is just a little bit home alone type thing. Alright, let's just get the knight out. It's obviously looking for this sort of situation. Might also move up to here. Let's just touch the queen because it's in the center of the board. It might struggle. So I don't need to move that fast, but I had the plan in my head of that's where we're going. So now we just need to see what's happening with the queen. So I'm going to attack the queen to see if we can get to some sort of end game type situation. It does take. It's a white square bishop they've got. Rook is protected, so if there's any fancy business, at least we're protected. It's doubling up, so it looks like the fancy business is coming in. How many pieces has he got on this pawn, actually? He's got loads, hasn't he? One, two, three, four... He's going for that. <laughs> well, I'm thinking, oh, he's going for fancy. But he's got more pieces. Take. And he's got a pawn as well, but he's not going to go for that. He's not going to go for that. Maybe I should have just attacked his pawn, enticing them to go for that. Because we would have just blasted those rooks off the board. thinking going this way but if he does go we can go this way if the bishop takes and we're blasting the rooks off the board so although they've got plus one maybe that's not going to work for them they come here to get release one of the tensions come here so it's um oh blast the rooks off the board like we said i mean that combination was always going to lose them a rook if he takes you don't have to take no, I didn't think they'd do that. Don't make sure I'm getting not trapped here. Oh, and they've resigned. Yeah, I don't, that was a bit weird that because that combination was not going to work. It did look good. Yeah. It did look good because they had more pieces, you know, on this area. But then after that, it was the movement of after that. Well, what is the bishop going to do? Anyway, that was a good game. Nice. How low am I forced to go?